So I live in Columbus, Ohio, and we in Ohio are not exactly known for our Chinese food. And one of the things that I hate the most is that when you're visiting a new city for the very first time, it's really hard to find a place that has good authentic Chinese food, especially in a place like Columbus that doesn't have a local Chinatown. So I'm going to try to solve this problem today and figure out if there are some reliable methods that we can use to find good authentic Chinese restaurants. First up, I decided to pick up my friend Ying, who has a lot of experience with authentic Chinese food. So what's your background in food, Ying? I eat it every day. And I was made in China. Oh, and my parents own a restaurant. Hashtag restaurant kid. Um, yeah, it probably wouldn't hurt to call in some extra backup, so I looped around and picked up my friend Justin. I was born in China town of Boston, Massachusetts. I'm actually a lifelong watcher of Food Network and also grew up in a restaurant, so I'm a restaurant kid. Authentic Chinese food to me is just like a home-cooked meal, you know? It's like your mom or dad's cooking, so that's what we're gonna go find right now. So we decided to test out four different methods. First, we just went to a randomly selected Chinese restaurant here in Columbus. Second, we went with the word of mouth method. Third, we wanted to see how effective Yelp actually is when it comes to finding authentic Chinese food. And lastly, I wanted to test out my own theory, something I like to call the grocery store method. We are on our way to Thai's Asian Bistro. We're going to Thai's because this is the random, and so what we did was Urban Spoon has this app where you can like randomly select a restaurant and it gave us Thai's. As soon as we walked in, we saw that this restaurant actually specializes in Americanized Chinese food. And you can kind of just tell, like, based on the sauces they have available and the fact that it's mostly self-serve. So we decided to just go ahead and try a dish that is very popular in Chinese oh, cuisine. great, thanks. Thank you, Appreciate it. This is a uh, double pan fried noodles. <laughs> so what we have here is, I think they fry the noodles and it's mm -hmm. the bottom layer of it. We got white meat chicken here. You can just tell by looking at it, it's very American. Classic Chinese American vegetables, snow peas, baby corn, broccoli. Their chicken always looks a certain way. The way it's sliced up, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. definitely. What I really like about this dish is the noodles are crispy. And then when they pour the sauce on top of it, then it kind of becomes soft again. Mm. I got bubble tea. Oh, oh there, there are two bees here. We Take are... my broccoli. I don't want my broccoli anyway. <laughs> Eat it. Help. So bees really like this restaurant because this is the place to be. Mm. Oh, mm. you guys get oh, it? Oh, I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> this one dish could feed me for three days. What we got here is fortune cookie. Most authentic Chinese restaurants, I don't think they really give you a fortune cookie. It depends on the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. if they, they serve, also serve American nice mm -hmm. Chinese food, then they'll. Yeah, yeah. How do you guys eat a fortune cookie? No, there's paper. <laughs> hey, where did the food go? Yang. No, I can't. Yang. What? What did we tell you? You ready to go? Let me just move it all to a certain spot in my stomach. Let's go. Are, are you like a cow? They have like four different stomachs that they can switch from. Right? Switch to stomach number three. <laughs> so if you do want authentic Chinese food, you'll probably need to do at least a little bit of research. But I mean, I'll be the first to admit it, there's no shame in a good General Tso's chicken. And if you want a good deal, Thai's is definitely the place to go. We're currently on our way to Yao's Chinese Bistro. This is the word of mouth method. The word of mouth method is where you ask your friends who live in that city, in like Columbus, Ohio, what is the most authentic Chinese food there. For the most number of votes, I got Yao's Chinese Bistro. When we got to Yao's, we asked the manager what we could order that would be the most authentic food that they have. Probably something like, like this menu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this is more authentic. Many Chinese restaurants will have an entirely separate menu for their authentic food because they know that most Americans won't really be able to appreciate the taste as much. So yeah, ask for the second menu. Wow. What is this? We got the hong shao yu. And what does that translate to in English? I usually call it like braised or broiled fish. It's usually cooked as a whole fish in Chinese like authentic dishes. It's by the bone. That's when you know it's authentic. No waste mentality right there. I heard near the tail is actually mm -hmm. where yeah. the meat is most tender because the fish is constantly using the tail to like swim. When I was little, my grandma told me that if you eat the eye, it increases your vision. This is the eyeball. Thank you. Thank you. What about um, this dish right here? What is this? There's like lamb and then there's like bean curd, green onions in there too. And this is actually served on like a hot pot. So they, what they do is they heat up this pot and then they pour it in. So it's like still sizzling kind of when it's served. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Dig in, guys. I have like no words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is in Columbus, Ohio. It's like a home away from home. <laughs> and we brought another friend here too because family style, you just need to share it with more people. So we have Stephen Lowe here. Really delicious. I, I will come back here try more on the secret menu. All in all, we were really happy with the result that we got from the word of mouth method. Yao's was super delicious. 
Next stop is Little Dragon. So I typed an authentic Chinese restaurant into Yelp. It was like the first hit, so see how it goes. Now, this is the one that I was most curious about, because if you don't know, Yelp has actually gotten a lot of criticism in the past for being biased towards restaurants who pay for advertising. So I wanted to see if Yelp could actually lead us to a decent authentic Chinese restaurant. So we're currently at Little Dragon, and actually, it's really funny, they recognize us here from Restaurant Kid. A lot of like Chinese restaurants tend to have like a TV there with <laughs> Chinese shows. And a fish tank. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. You gotta get a, you have to have yes. a fish tank. When we asked our waitress for some suggestions on authentic dishes, she told us not to worry and that she would just surprise us with something delicious. Okay, wow, so this presentation was amazing. amazing. Our first dish here, which is the Xiangla Zhu Ti, pig feet actually. And pig feet is not as common to Americans because it may think it's kind of weird to eat it, but it's actually eaten a lot in uh, the Chinese culture. How is it? It's good. It's oh, very good. This one is called Song Shu Yu. And what does that mean? Oh, squirrel fish? Wait, really? Huh? So Squirrel know. fish? I don't know. Is that what it is? That's what I thought too, but I don't think it is. <laughs> it turns out it is squirrel fish. Because the way it's cut up, it looks like a squirrel. It has like sweet and sour sauce on top of it. If you like look at it, they like chop it up perfectly and literally the presentation is like beautiful. Alright, so this is the mala tango. It is the spicy combination hot pot clams in here. Beef tendon. Oh, you got the clear noodles here. Oh, these are the best noodles. My sister loves these noodles. Best part is it serves on a hot pot so it's always hot throughout your meal. It's so good. It's amazing. I literally don't know how. I've never heard of this place, but thank you, Yelp. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of bringing out fortune cookies at the end of the meal, like Americanized Chinese restaurants, they brought out oranges for us. So Yelp actually worked out really well for us. The meal was authentic, the food was delicious, and the only thing about this place that was unfortunate for us was the location. For our last stop, we're going to head over to Hong Kong House, which is right next to a grocery store called Sunrise. This is my theory. The Asian groceries create a lot of traffic for immigrants and Asian people, so if you wanted to open a restaurant, the best place to open it would be next to a grocery store. When we saw that they had authentic Sichuan food, Justin knew exactly what he wanted to order, so we didn't waste any time getting down to business. We ordered a couple of dishes. The first dish, can you talk about that? The English translation is almost like mouth-watering chicken. Because when they bring out this dish, you just start, your mouth just starts to water, you know? It's cold chicken sliced up by the whole drumstick, and they have a sauce mix that goes with it. Okay, come me a little sliver. Come here a little sliver. So what we have here is a Fu Chi Fei Pan. It's a beef mixture of beef tripe and beef tendon, and it's mixed in this cold, spicy Sichuan sauce. You will never find this at an Americanized Chinese restaurant. This would never. freak people out. I think the key thing to Sichuan food is the sauce that they use. Most of the time, the sauce that they use is created by a chef, and it's kind of like his secret ingredient almost. Mmm, nice little bite out of this. Yes. My favorite part is actually the very special specialty sauce by the specialty chef. Just drizzle it on. Yeah, so that was our fourth restaurant in five hours. And quite impressively, we had no leftovers at any restaurant. The grocery store method came through for us strong, and the more I think about it, the more it really makes sense. <sighs> not one, not two, not three, but four restaurants. Four restaurants in five hours. Oh my gosh, it's like a new record or something. Uh, that was a great day. So if you guys were to go to like Kalamazoo, Michigan, how would you guys find uh, off of the Chinese food. Okay, I'm not like a huge user of Yelp, but I would probably like, if it's a completely new city, I'd probably look up a few restaurants just in case, but mostly probably like put up a Facebook status. Yeah, I agree. I would use Yelp and ask people. So you guys wouldn't use the grocery store method, man? See, but like after today, now that I think about it, the grocery store method actually makes so much sense. I know, right? But then you would have to also look up groceries. So and you kind of have to right. search around that area. Yeah. They're not all just going to be like next door neighbors. Mm -hmm. I do agree with that. I think the most surprising thing about today was that every method we tried worked out pretty well. Now, you may or may not be as lucky as we were, but overall, I think any of these methods are actually quite reliable. And who knows, maybe you'll find a restaurant that fits all three criteria, the restaurant trifecta. Alright, so I think we should actually thank these restaurants. Little Dragon, Hong Kong House, Yao's. Ties. We'll put those links in the description below. If you do go check these places out, tell them that Stephen KW Lim video sent you there. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch a video on Restaurant Kid, then you can click here. And make sure you subscribe to Steven's channel for more awesome videos. Thanks again for watching, and we will see all of you beautiful people next week. Bye!